Hi, I'm Chaltoys and today I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get uh, stuck on every Minecraft SMP. Uh, this video will di be divided in three parts, uh, mid game, uh, start game and uh, late game. So check the times up in the description below. If you want to support me please consider subscribing and leaving a like because this is my first video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya! Let's start from the basic. After getting error armor I will recommend mining Lapis Lazuli and the Red Sun Horse because they give you the more XP that we will need them later. I also would recommend finding a village and making a base around it because villagers are a very useful resource that can help you with their trading, getting diamond and iron armor whenever you want. But I'm gonna speak uh, of that later. After getting comfortable with the gear that you have, I will recommend going into the nether. For going there, you will need at least a piece of gold armor, or the piglins will get angry at you. In the nether, then, you will gonna mine every piece of quartz that you find, because it gives you a lot of levels that we are gonna use to enchant your gear and get actually unkillable, so mine every piece. If you locate a bastion, go and trade with the piglins. They can give you valuable resources such as fire resistant potions and ender pearls. The bastion can also contain in the chest a piece of, of netherite gear and tool and diamond tools. So I recommend checking uh, every chest in the bastion, but be careful full of the piglins brute. This beast can literally kill you in a couple of hits even with diamond armor. Uh, after uh, exiting from the nether, you will have, uh, if the end is enabled, going to look for the stronghold. The strongholds can contain the elytras that are uh, the best way to go around in the overworld. And also the most valuable item in the game, the dragon egg. Well, in the portal with at least 12 idol ender, you might need less if you are lucky. But uh, bring with you at least 12 and then you can just jump into the portal. In the end bring with you some blocks so you can bridge over to the end stone directly and uh, uh, the set of gear that you have doesn't matter but I will recommend diamond armor as at least some potions of slow falling or a water bucket if you are good at uh, MLGing with it and uh, you should be able to kill the ender dragon easily. As, as long as you have arrows and a bow, you can take down the crystal pretty easily if you have a good aim. Not like me. After the Ender Dragon dies, you will drop a lot of XP that uh, will be very useful later for enchanting. After that, if you want to bring the Dragon Egg, you will have to place a torch under it and then it will break and drop. I recommend putting the dragon egg into an ender chest that you can craft with an eye of ender and obsidian. In the end dimension I recommend building an enderman farm. These farms give you a lot of XP and if you pair it with an enchantment table you'll be able to get level 30 enchants very fast so you can get the godly gear easily. Uh, but these farms are very big and uh, can be easily griffed. After so, getting an Elytra for the end, we have entered the mid game uh, path. So, what you are gonna do is building a villager trading hall and uh, putting your villagers uh, in this hall. The best villagers are the librarian that can sell to you books such as Protection 4, Mending, Unbreaking, and others. The, the prices of the books, however, can be very high. So I recommend uh, converting the villagers with a potion of uh, weakness and uh, golden apples. Build a creeper farm so you can get TNT in the nether, so you can blow up uh, the TNT and get nitrate gear and tools. After getting an enchanted nitrate gear and tools that we are comfortable with, we arrive to the late game part. In the late game, we'll need to build an iron farm to get infinite iron that we can use then to build our beacons, a uh, uh, blaze rod and uh, gas farm to get an infinite amount of crystals that we can use then in the PvP. 
Uh, if you want to be the king of an SMP, you'll need to get into potion brewing. Uh, to brew a potion of strength, you'll just need a base powder here, in other words, here. For a potion of weakness, uh, you use uh, just a piece of sugar. And if you want to make the potion last longer, use red stone dust. And if you make, want to make them a level higher, you use uh, glowstone dust. Okay. Another right act to, to finish the video off and to become truly unkillable, you might need the totem stuff undying from a raid farm and the golden epsilon from a gold farm. And anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you rule over SMP, please let me know uh, in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and uh, watched it until here, please consider subscribing. As I said before, it is my first video and uh, it really helps me out. If we arrive at 20 likes, I'll do a full brewing guide to get all the potions that we'll need ever for the PvP. Anyway, that's it for this video. See ya in the next one.